Did y'all catch Tzatziki live? Did y'all catch her Tzatziki live? And what she had to say about um, me pulling up to the reunion situation? I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip and I want y'all to tell me in the comments while the clip is playing. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about it. Tell me how y'all feel about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip. Now, and she told that to that girl that was outside that gate. Okay. What's her girl name? Liddy. What's her name? Girl, I'm actually mad. I'm fucking pissed that you came out there because, like, I, I don't even know you. My first time seeing you was outside the gate. And then, then I, like, so mind you, I seen you did an interview with uh, E.T. But then I, like, started, like, you know, well, you know, I tuned in a little bit. And it's like, dang, I like shorty. I would like you. Like, you, but you came at me aggressive to fight. Like, you didn't even know what the fuck was going on. You didn't even, like, know me. Like, I don't even know what that's about. But she got up there up on your shit and lied to you. And that's fucked up. Yeah, so just because y'all think y'all... So, now that y'all watched that clip, um, I don't really have a response to that. And it's like I do and I don't because my thing is this. If I feel like I want to ride for my friend, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Now... I don't know how many times, I don't know how many times I have to tell people that I wasn't there to try to run up in nobody's shit for people to understand that, but that's not what I was on. I knew what my friend had to do and she was ready to do it. E.T. didn't give a fuck about going in there and fighting all them bitches, but I knew she was gonna have to fight all them bitches and I knew that it was gonna be a possibility of her getting jumped. And once it was over, yeah, I wanted my friend out. Because I know how sometimes how behind the scenes reality TV shit go. Motherfuckers will keep going. And from what I seen, when I hopped out the car, they, was, they were coming out to their trailers and they were still tripping. I was speaking to a security guard. And as I was speaking to a security guard, spit started flying through a gate. I didn't get to start tripping until spit started flying. So I was wrong because, and I can admit that as a woman, I was wrong because I thought that Tzatziki was the one who spit, but she wasn't the one who spit. Anna later said it was her ghetto ass who spit. But it's okay, like, at the end of the day, that shit, it, it, it doesn't move me. Like, it doesn't move me. I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, I got beef with Tzatziki. I wanna beat that bitch up. I'm not that type of person. I don't just make up beef. I don't, like, I don't. If you want the spade, come and get it. You feel me? Because I'm, I don't just go and start making up beefs to fight people. So, um, you know, she mentioned, she said, you know, maybe we could have got to know each other, you know, blase, skippy. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm here to work. I'm here to get some dough. And you bitches on Zeus, y'all got more money than me, okay? So, fuck being a friend, bitch. Is you about to help me get to where I need to get to? without having to put my hands on you or something, because I don't, I'm not for that. I'm not no clout chasing ass bitch who want to just try to fight people for no reason. I'm not like that. Them, them other bitches on the cast from the show I just came on. So it's like, you know, like, I understand on some woman to woman shit, I get it. But I thought to seek you spit, it wasn't her. I'm woman enough to say, damn, my bad. Anna, little ghetto ass. And Anna is so cute, but she just ghetto as fuck. Like, bitch, you spit. And there was no reason for you to be spitting. And you know we couldn't get to you to the gate. That's what really pissed me off. I'm gonna talk about it. That's what really pissed me off. Like, bitch, why are you spitting through the gate and you know I can't get to you? We, none of us could get to you. And you're spitting through a gate. Like, come on now. Like, come on now, like, real shit. And a lot of y'all be like, oh, Tzatziki will beat your ass. I don't give a fuck. I don't care, win, lose, or draw. If a bitch wanna fight me, I'm a fighter. But that's not what it is. She didn't say she wanted to fight me. I said at that gate I wanted to fight her, but that's because I thought it was her that spit. 
Anna, I'ma snatch your little ass up. I know you be at that Back on Fig podcast, bitch. If I find out you there, I'ma snatch you up for spitting because not only did you spit, you went and you bragged about it. Like, that shit was cute. That shit is not cute and that's not cool. Like, I hate, I hate with a passion when bitches spit on my soul. That shit is not cool. Like, you, if you if you felt some type of way or you was so mad because bitches was yelling at the gate or whatever was going on, you didn't have to spit. We, we can't get to you. So what was the point of spitting for and then, and then brag about it. Like, that shit is, that shit is beneath me. That shit is beneath me. That shit is, that shit is beneath me. Like, I, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that and I'll never get that. Like, I'll, I'll never get, I'll never get it. I'll never get it. Um, what I'm gonna do real quick, real fast, before I bring my next guest on, I'm gonna go ahead and can I open up the phone line? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the phone line and listen here. Listen here. If I answer your call, are you going to call this line? We're going to talk about what's relevant, what we're talking about right now, okay? I need y'all to, to be to be right here with me. Be right here with me, okay? Be right here with me, okay? So I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about, y'all can be honest with me, how y'all feel about me coming to get my friend. Like, so I'm gonna open it up, the line, cause y'all be doing the most. Don't don't call um, talking about some, oh, I don't wanna talk to you, lady. No, we talking about what we talking about right now, baby. This is what we're talking about. We're now calling the Liddy Show. What's the deal, baby? Hey, Big Liddy, what's up? This Big Sarge. This Big Who? California. This Big Who? What's your name? This Big Sarge calling from Oakland, California. Okay, Big Star calling from Oakland. So what's up? Let's chat. What's the deal? So I feel like you are not in the wrong. I feel like you defended your friend and that was what you were supposed to do. You stood on business and you was out there and you was right there and you was, you feel me, doing your shit. And if it was hella bitches in there fighting your friend, you did what you were supposed to do. Period. Thank you for that. Because really, I just wanted the bitch outside. Like, I told them straight up. They like, what do you want? I'm like, Tell, bring the bitch outside. Bring E.T. outside. Bring my friend outside. So I appreciate your opinion, and thank you for calling in. And shout out to Oakland, California. I got some um, artists from Oakland coming in next week as well. So shout out to y'all. I fucks with y'all. You feel me? South Central to Oakland, baby. Period. Big Oakland shit. Love you. Love you, Love too. from Oakland. Hey, Liddy. This is Mercedes calling from Columbus, Ohio. Okay, big Columbus in the building. What's up, Mercedes? Hey, um, I just want to say, like, I don't feel like he was wrong. To me, I don't particularly care for how uh, E.T. acted on baddies, but at the end of the day, like, none of us know her personally to have a, a personal issue with her. And I feel like it was kind of set up. Like she said, everybody else was a lot of people there. She wasn't. And I don't feel like that was a lie. I don't feel like he was wrong. I mean, that's her friend. I would have did the same thing for my friend. Anybody else would, too. So if anybody say different, they lying. Period. At the end of the day, you're going to ride for your friend. Like, especially if you ain't on no TV shit with your friend. Like, everybody don't be understanding it. They just be wanting to be like, oh, you want to be on Zeus. I don't give a fuck about being on no Zeus or no nothing. You feel me? I and mean, yeah, you doing well enough with or without anything, anybody's support, any network support. So, I mean, you know. Hey, man, me. say that one more time so they can hear you. <laughs> I said you're doing good with or without any network support, so it doesn't matter who with you, who against you, for real. That part, amen. That part, amen. Amen. No shade, amen. What's for me? God gonna make happen for me, and can't nobody stop this shit. And that's just that. Thank you for calling in, Mercedes. That's right. Bye, Liddy. Bye. Okay. Okay, this same for South Memphis. I just got to put that out there because we do watch all the way in L.A. Shout so where you LA. from? You said South but, Memphis? Yes, ma'am. Period. Memphis. Memphis. Big South Memphis, though. <laughs> Memphis in the motherfucking house. What's that? Period. 
period. So I, I don't think you're wrong for what happened, but I do want to know, did you watch the season and do you think E.T. moved differently? I've been watching now this TV before anybody really got on it since season one of South Central. So from leader from now, I mean, E.T. from now that's TV versus E.T. from Zeus is kind of different. So do you see that or... See, that's the thing, like... You think she's the same? See, you lucky. I wish I didn't call your ass back. But I'm going to go ahead and answer your question, though. Um, I feel like this. I feel like I'm very biased in this situation, and I can admit that. Um, and the reason why mm -hmm. I feel like I'm biased is because, like, not only that's my friend, but I, I feel like if y'all going to call her a bully, y'all need to call the other bitches bully, too. I feel like y'all just so... I feel like y'all just so Ooh. hard. I feel like y'all just so hard on E.T. because she came from Now That's TV. That's how I feel. Because... They don't know I, her. Yeah, they because, know her. exactly, they don't know her. So I remember when um, when that one episode came and um, E.T., I think it was E.T., Roly, and, um, and, and Scotty, when they had fought T, mm -hmm. the only person who really got the, the blame in the fall was E.T. Was E.T. And I didn't understand right. that. And it, so it's like... It's exactly. like it's like how it go and how TV does things. It's just like I don't I don't I don't know. I'm biased to the situation. Like y'all y'all say y'all say she she a bully. Well, if she a bully for fighting that girl, then everybody a bully then because baby got ran low key. Like you feel me? The the biggest bully is EP. So I'm just trying to figure out why we get, why we caring about who get, like, like she said, talk shit, get hit. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't feel like, I don't. Nobody. You know what you sound though for. That part. And, and my thing is, it's like, they knew, they knew what they was dealing with when they casted her on that show. I don't care what nobody mm -hmm. say. E.T. don't even have to tell me that. They wanted her to come on there and fight. That's what they wanted her to do. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. they wanted her to do. That ain't what she be doing. So do if the fans is going to be mad at anybody, they need to be mad at Zeus because that's they, she did exactly what the people wanted her to do. She did exactly what she up, wanted her to do. Now this TV. If y'all wanted to be cute, y'all should have lived Zeus with Zeus. But when you start intertwining, you already know what's going on. No, I don't even think it's like intertwining because I feel like everybody deserves a, a bigger platform. I feel like everybody deserves yeah. a chance. You get what I'm saying? Especially us. Like, you got to think mm -hmm. about E.T. as a mother. I'm a mother. You feel me? Yeah. And we out here, yeah. and we put in our... Y'all know... I know her from the academy. Like, I know her story, story. So exactly. It's kind of... It's a little sad to see how people treat her when I know where she come from. I know why she is the way she is. I know what makes her tick. And I feel like that didn't give her a real life a, a, enough time to have a storyline either because if you knew, you would understand Exactly. So I just feel like, like I said, like in that situation, I am biased because I fucks with ET. But I just feel like, shit, if y'all gonna call the bitch a bully, call all them hoes bullies. Like, shit, Natalie, the biggest bully, like she keep whooping Scotty ass for nothing. Every time I'm seeing Thanks. Scotty getting her ass Thanks. whooped, I don't see them try to boycott Natalie and Natalie keep picking on Scotty. Or is it because but Scotty then, always be like. She got her lick back. She got her lick back in the little room. Come on now. Like Scotty, was Scotty, was Scotty was tagging. Scotty was tagging. Scotty was tagging. Scotty was tagging. She was tagging. It's so cool. Let me just say that on the air. Like, I, I can't believe it. Like, okay. Come to the city, it's up. <laughs> period, period. Well, thank you for calling in for the lady show and putting me on the hot seat, Shan. I shouldn't have called your ass back, period. but I did. 